Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the uh, Northampton Planning Board meeting of September 14th, um, 2023. Thanks for hanging in there with us. We, it takes a little while sometimes to get our hybrid meetings going. So we are here in uh, city council chambers and also um, on Zoom. We'll be accepting uh, just comments through the chat for those people who are on Zoom, but anybody in city council chambers are welcome to come up to the podium. Um, we normally start our, our public uh, meeting with comments. Any comments at all that want to come before the planning board that don't have to do with the agenda items here. We have a number of agenda items. There's one for a, a special permit site plan for two curb cuts in North Main Street to continuation from earlier this month. A special permit to convert a warehouse into a single family on Michaelman Avenue. A special permit for a ground solar array up on West Hampton Road. A site plan to demolish a garage and add a new single family on Lyman Road. And the final hearing is a site major site plan for a 31 unit residential building and a hotel down on Con Street. So if anybody has comments that are not related to those items, um, please come to the podium or raise your hand on Zoom. We'll recognize hands waved like this or using the, uh, the function in the toolbar of Zoom. The Zoom crowd, there's nobody in the waiting room. How about that? A lot of things going on in September 14th. Okay, so why don't we open up our hearing with a continuation from 727 of a request for a special permit site plan for two curb cuts at 420 North Main Street, lead map ID. Um, this was the name of the construction company. Baron Thank you, Baron and Jacobs. Is there anybody from Baron and Jacobs to offer us a presentation? I saw on the staff. It's on the staff here, uh, the staff memo, there's a note that the applicant did request a continuation to September 28th for more time to evaluate. Great. Great. So I would make a motion to continue this hearing to September 28th at 7 p.m. Second. All right, motions for made and seconded to continue this hearing to seven. Uh, what twenty eighth? September twenty eighth. Uh, do we have from now? We have a meeting. Then? September twenty eighth. Okay, at seven p.m. Now. Yep. Any discussion? All those in favor of continuation. I, but do we know that there's a hearing scheduled for September twenty eighth? You mean a meeting? Yeah, a meeting. Yes, there is okay. a meeting scheduled. Yeah. yeah. All right. All those in favor. The continuation, unanimous. Okay, thanks for reading those staff notes closely, Chris. Um, our next hearing isn't until 7.20, so we really can't open up our hearing. That's for uh, to convert a warehouse into a single family by Jody Barker at 10 Michaelman Avenue. Is the applicant in the house? That's over there, okay. All right, great. Uh, Meeting, yeah, and yeah, ours, so or there, there yep. are two ANRs. Good. So, Mr. Barker, if you hold on for a little while, we'll get to you at 7 20. Okay, so we'll turn it over to staff Sarah Lavalley, who will help us through a couple of administrative things. There are two who will not retire plan that are up for discussion today. Either way, I'm Sarah Lavalley, assistant planning director, and it's um, like open up at the high school thing this evening. Um, so both of these ANR do meet the requirement to be endorsed as um, ANR plan. Uh, this one is on Chester Hill Road. If anybody wants to take a look, <laughs> adequate frontage on a public way. Um, no concerns with this one. So which one is it here, Sarah? It must be this one. And they are creating, they're splitting apart this lot. They're creating just Correct. a new so, lot here. So this this is one contiguous yep. lot currently uh, splitting into two. Okay, that's about a half an acre. And it's got 102 feet of uh, frontage. 
I move to endorse the ANR on Chesterfield Road. A second. All right. Motion's been made and seconded by Stacy. Any discussion? All those in favor of the endorsement? All right. Unanimous. Chesterfield Road. And the second one will also be one of the bigger and bigger, um, this one is on Lyman Road. So just need planning board approval for creation of the common driveway. Uh, and this is the ANR that gets divided a lot into three. So with the ANR, we divided into three. And then during the hearing, we discussed the shared driveway. Correct. <laughs> um, oh, I realize. Yeah, it's three. Yeah. And the shared driveways for all three? Yep. Oh, ah, then it's look the at that. Yeah. Yep. The last house on the yes. street there. Just before it goes down that big hill, yeah. this is a big drop off is right here. procedural issue with approving the ANR before looking at the shared driveway? I don't think so. No, because oh, often, no, often we do this weeks in advance of somebody coming in or years. Yeah. Good to hear. Yep. This doesn't endorse the project. No, it's just, not at all. No, no it's, it's just, just um, confirming that there's frontage. Uh, and, the, and then the request is that later this evening will be to create the front. Right. They're, they're not creating a subdivision here. I move to endorse the ANR on Lyman Road. Very good. Second. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's been made. I think it's 86 Lyman Road to endorse that ANR. Any discussion? All those in favor? That's half your battle. All right. George, are you going to stand on the table for the I don't, five minutes? <laughs> I don't think we have any minutes. Um, there are minutes on the agenda. <clears throat> Um, about also on the agenda is the close out of the Emerson Way subdivision. Is that ready? Uh, for no time? material to consider this meeting. That will be on the agenda for future meetings. I'm a little heads up that uh, we got notice from the clerk's office that every kind of committee like this needs to. Uh, once a year, elect a new chair and a vice chair or whatever officers you have in that committee. So we'll be uh, looking at that in, I think, November. So if people want to think about vice chair, being the chair, keep that in mind. I'm our current vice chair, Jana. This guy is thinking of uh, stepping down and becoming a, a regular member of the board. What else can we fill time with? You make a campaign speech. <laughs> no campaigning. Thinking about getting to a box truck or trailer. Box truck or trailer? I would say probably box truck's a better idea. More versatile. What's it going to be used for? Yeah, for what? Yeah. 
So it's now 720. Yeah. So it's now 7:20, and we'll open up a special permit site plan um, application to convert a warehouse into a single family by Jody Barker at 10 Michaelman Avenue, map ID 32C. Dash one four four, and we need a a super majority vote for this. Um, and does the applicant have a presentation for us? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, we'll see if I can figure it out on the fly. Okay. Yeah. We'll give you time. Take your time. You're familiar with screen sharing on Zoom? Yes. I can find Zoom on here. It's an AB specialist here during most meetings. Zoom should be running in the browser. Wouldn't the app run? There you want to help. Oh, right. doing something. There we go. All right. Voila. All right. Miracles happen every day. Uh, my name's Jody Barker. I'm an architect from Florence, Massachusetts. I'm the uh, architect for this um, project. Uh, the owner is here, Simon Scher. Uh, the project is to uh, to. We're looking at the site here. This is Pleasant Street, up where the hand is moving. Uh, this is Pleasant Street. Michaelman Ave goes this way. The project is to uh, uh, renovate an existing one-story uh, garage, which you can see in the picture here, uh, to a uh, to a new residence. So right now it's a, uh, a storage warehouse uh, workspace, uh, and uh, what we will be doing is renovating this the existing site. Uh, first floor become uh, residential spaces, living room, dining room, uh, bedrooms, and adding a new second floor for sort of the master suite upstairs. Uh, all the work will be done within the existing footprint of the existing structure. The structure is a, uh, the uh, zone is a mixed zone use. Uh, it's the majority of the, the site is in the um, 
CBG, the Central Business Gateway, I think it is, um, site. And then there's a little corner just to make things more complicated that's in uh, URC, as you see, kind of cuts through the, the southwest corner of the site. Um, uh, and then the uh, the project will be a two phase uh, project. Uh, first phase, uh, which has been reviewed uh, by the by the zoning review, would be uh, creation of a garage on the site, a, a accessory building in the back corner, uh, twenty five by thirty feet, I believe it is. Um, that has been reviewed and been allowed by right. Um, pending other, you know. Uh, design issues. Um, the the front building uh, is an existing non-conforming um, structure, uh, primarily uh, because of uh, setbacks or in the CBG you build to uh, line. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it describes it pretty much. Uh, you know, we're using the existing building as a reuse of an existing building downtown. Um, you know, bringing more residential space downtown, less traffic, closer to public transportation, closer to Mr. Share's uh, place of work, which is the uh, the martial arts studio on on Pleasant Street. Um, I think overall, let's see nice project and a nice uh, reuse of existing structures downtown. Thank you. Uh, questions from the board? So just to clarify, there's going to be a driveway to the... Oh, yes, of course. Um, uh, there's there's a existing, let's see if I can get it in the, if you can see it. Here, there are exist. There's an existing driveway on both sides of the structure, and a gravel parking lot behind. Um, we're not looking to change any of those uh, right now. Um, I don't know if there would be a need to block one off, uh, but there would be no change of any access to the to the rear uh, gravel parking lot. You're saying that there's basically like a U shape. A U -shape. Yeah, it's. And it looks like the whole. I, I think the oh, sorry. It's open. There's no curbing there. No curbing. It's just right in. Um, the only paved spot. Of course, I'm looking up there when I should be done. Where these cars are. That's the only paved part at the old uh, uh, garage. And this was a car repair shop, and among many things in its life, um, uh, the rest of it's gravel. A uh, gravel driveway all around. Gravel parking lot in lot in the rear, and then that little bit of which is hard to see here, but. Uh, grass, which would remain in the front. Are you landscaping over where the parking in the front currently is at all? Uh, yes, let's see if I can. So let's see, here's, this is the uh, grass area right here. Uh, that would be landscaped, uh, a new deck and a, a lawn enclosed <clears throat> in a wall or or possibly Arbor Vitae or some sort of green green space just to mark that off as a, a private private lawn. Yeah. Back of the parking's in the back, yes, in the existing parking lot. That's where the garage will be as well. Uh, the garage is um, would become workspace primarily. Oh, I'm sorry, what we're looking at now this is the proposed no, new use. The right, and where's Michaelman Avenue? That is uh, at the bottom of where it says first floor plan proposed. Yeah. Is the curb type issue? Curb issue? You know, is there a curb a curb cut? I I would think so. I thought we only allowed one curb cut per lot. Well, I was wondering if this was like the like the thing then. In, Le in Leeds, that I'm not sure it's on the yep. thing, but um, you know, like would like as long as they're not redoing the driveway, do they have to change anything? But if they ever pave that, they're going to have to get rid of one of the curb cuts. 
Well, the whole thing's one big giant curb cut, the same as out in Leeds, right? I mean, it's just completely. Well, they, like that, they're circling. Or, there's no, there's no that, curb. You, that. No, well, yeah. No curb, right? There's no but, curb, just like their curb cut is not dependent on there being a curb. Right. It's two entrances and exits yeah. to the site. Is so, the but, so the point is, is that in the future, as of right now, they could have the the U shape coming and going, but if they ever do anything no would they so I, pay that i don't think they can have it by right right now because they're changing the, the use of the building so i think it's becoming a residential use in a resident more or less a residential neighborhood so i think it's within our purview to say that it would be more safe for pedestrians and traffic to have just one entrance there rather than rather than the whole curb cut i would also suggest that because it is a residential neighborhood that maybe a sidewalk could be there. There's a lot of children that use that going back and forth. There is no sidewalk. It's just open. There's a funny half a sidewalk that comes down from the back of Michaelman in front of the apartments there. Um, and it stops halfway and then there's grass. There's, there's, there's nothing for it to connect to. There's no sidewalks anywhere. Uh, DPW did um, yeah. did note that a five foot cement concrete sidewalk built to city standards will be required. Yeah. Even does that be... include granite curb? Uh, what was that? Does that include granite curb? Are they asking for like a six inch curbing of some kind there? Uh, they didn't. The curbing did not come up specifically. Well, there's the curb. <laughs> <laughs> um so we did get dpw comments i feel like we never get them i mean i, I literally checked the file i didn't see them in the folder yeah. 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 did you i can not see the comment i saw something while i was waiting here on my phone but i 719 uh, reading on the phone is difficult yeah but i did see something about us or could make up a make out a sidewalk okay. uh, yeah. request yeah yeah well, so if there's, mm -hmm. there's going to be a sidewalk, then definitely there needs to just be one entrance and exit, clearly. Inside. Yeah. Yep. So but, I mean, it looks to me, I mean, I don't have a top topographic plan here, but it looks like the street, the sidewalk, the driveway, and the first floor of the house are all at the same elevation. So that means the, the sidewalk's going to be like six inches above everything else. I mean, you're not going to raise the whole site. So... I don't even understand how that would work. I don't think that's our concern. What we need to do is make sure that that area is safe for pedestrians and and for, for traffic. Every time there's kind of a development in any area, the DPW and the planning board pushes for sidewalks. Um, and it is a pretty populated area there. Um, I know on the other side, that large park a lot behind the watering hole, that's just one open lot. There's no curbing there. There's no in and out. But so that in itself is kind of a conflict. Um, but and DPW did know driveway width should be a maximum of 15 feet between the property line and the street with a three foot radius. And if the gravel driveway is to be paved in the future, a DPW permit would be required at that point. Hmm. So I don't know if you need to um, tidbits with the the applicant, the owner about this, mm -hmm. but those are what we're going to probably condition the permit on moving mm -hmm. forward. So pick, um, pick one one driveway or the other. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, let's let's move to a couple of other things. Um, so in the backyard, there's going to be a bit of a patio, an outdoor patio. Uh, the let's see, we come back uh, in the front. Oh, in the front, that's in the front, in the back, which uh, which is way is the site plan. Uh, there'll be a garage. You can't see me pointing here. Let's get to this hand uh, in this. We'll call that the south corner of the site. Hey. Yep. Yep. So there'll be no. Is there any planting? Um, there's not, okay. nothing. Nothing at proposed at right. this. Right. How the about, grab, grab yeah. a driveway? Yeah. Right. How about uh, any kind of exterior lighting beyond the normal? Kind of down yeah, anything would be three thousand k or le or less in down light okay. only. Uh, so I assume that would be. Do I have this lighting plans here? Uh, uh, you know something along at this uh, lower level at the at the deck. Uh, something at the porch. 
Um, I don't have anything drawn at this point for the rear, but I assume some sort of rear light for the parking area. And then uh, upstairs, just something to light this upper upper deck, roof deck. Okay. Uh, but nothing, uh, no site, no site site lighting, if you would, uh, house lighting. Okay. No poles in the parking lot. Yeah. Probably an outdoor light at the garage, at the door there. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, right now, there's kind of a funky electrical service. I don't know if you plan on going underground with that or um, for the utilities of the building, if you need to. Again, I didn't see DPW. It's the existing water line, sewer line. Yeah, at this time, uh, we were thinking of using and upgrading as required for the new uses, new codes, service that's there. But uh, uh, I guess as uh, requested, directed, or recommended otherwise, uh, we could look into other. I should have worn my glasses, but I thought I saw something about a electrical plan or site electrical plan for the garage in the DPW notes. It's going to be useful to have the DPW comments read to us since no no one has heard them. Great idea. That would, yeah. So can we do that? Um, the motion's been made. Uh, so in regarding the site plan, the, the driveway width and the three foot radius paving, if paved in the future, a DPW permit would be required. The sidewalks that were discussed, and then if the new garage workspace is proposed to have water sewer service, Plans must show the service location, size, and material, which is pretty yeah. standard for you know, And yeah, there's no, uh, there wouldn't be a bathroom or a sink or anything in there. It's just, just electrical. Just electrical. Yeah. Uh, and, and then as far as stormwater, DPW just really recommended drafting a simple erosion sediment control plan. For the, con for during construction? Correct. Sarah? Right. Well, I think looking at the site plan, the driveway would have to be towards the bottom of the page, whatever direction that is. Let's call it uh, south. Okay, there's a north arrow. So in the south of the building is where you're going to have to have a driveway because to the north is off the property. So I think it kind of... Same owner, right? It's the same owner. And I think at some point... It's complicated. Yeah. At some point in this uh, site's life, it was all the same yeah. site as well. Yeah. I concur. That would be my recommendation, yeah. too. A little more space there. Um, Is there an open space requirement in this zone, and are they meeting it? I can't see it in the applications. And also, uh, which set of zoning, I mean, which set of criteria applies since they're in two different zones? Is it CBG? Because that's the bigger footprint. I have that. Uh... Well, it looks like it's both. Any enlargement, so I don't think. Okay. Yeah, I, I have that information down here. They're not, well. Around the open space. Well, yeah. we're adding a structure in the back, though, but I guess if that's already paid. That's an uh, accessory. Yeah. Adding structure in the back. The garage. The garage. But it also looks like it's entirely in the uh, C gateway C CBG, not CDBG. And it's CBG. Yeah, I keep taking the same thing. Um, um, let's see if I side rear build does not increase setback driveway open open space has no requirement in CBG, and then uh, because of the the majorities in CBG, according to uh, paragraph three fifty six point nine, the zone CBG rules um, prevail. Right. Uh, URC is a thirty percent open space, but you're adding. Some green space, which is um, laudable. Thanks. Um, and so the the non compliance is you're just not quite building to that the ten foot build to zone with that right corner. Yeah, it's because we're everything's we're basically building within the building. Uh, we're just reusing the existing building as as is and building up. That's it. I mean, this was 
20 something years ago, but similar to the, the structures behind uh, where Woodstar is. There's a, two houses back there. And the first one is same thing, just building up on that one. Uh, this zoomed in thing is much more helpful because okay, yeah. I didn't realize that the shaded portion was not building. That's that's yeah, that and everything that's you exactly were showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow, that choice makes of, more sense to me. So yeah, yeah, we have a uh, so the um, you know there's this is the existing green area, new deck, and then you know some sort of little private lawn to practice your bowling or archery or whatever. It's not very big, but. It's something. Can you just pan over so we see the existing condition? Sure. Uh, that's uh... zoom level. Okay, so that whole hatched area is just grass. Yeah. Not building. Grass ish. Grass ish. Okay. More grass on my screen at home right. than yeah. screen. the screen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be modified somewhat to show. I mean, a sidewalk's going to eat up a third of that. So. Okay. And then the new garage goes down in this this corner here. Right. It's it's similar. Uh last year we permitted two uh two new dwellings down that street where Roberto's is. And it was very tight. And now they have lawn and patio furniture right between the house and the street. Which is unusual because there's no backyard at all. So, urban living. Mm -hmm. Yep. That was one of the challenges here. I didn't want to make it look too much like, you know, where I live in Florence as compared to downtown. Yeah. All right. Uh, why don't we open up the, if there's anyone at this point who would like to comment on the application on Michaelman Avenue here in City Council Chambers? Sarah, is there anybody who uh, is there anyone in the Zoom portion of the meeting who would like to comment? No comments. Okay, I know your butters are all out of ventures and a large apartment building and another large apartment building. So um, those folks have enough going on, I think. <laughs> all right, so then back to the board. Any last questions for the applicant? Well, let's just confirm our conditions before we okay. just before we close things. So we're asking them to um, provide a sidewalk in the front with curbing that closes off one of the driveways. Correct. Um, we're asking them to. Um, do we need to submit anything to DPW? Only if they're going to pave the driveway, you would need to submit something. Um, and if you're adding water or sewer to the outbuilding, which you're not, so you don't need to submit a, a plan for that, those utilities. Um, I assume your electricity is going to come right off of the, the larger house. Um, yeah, oh, for the back building, yes. Yep. Corrosion sedimentation control during construction. Okay. So we need some simple plan around that. There are no trees on the property, unfortunately. Yeah, so nothing, nothing, you don't have to. Nothing very nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, yep. Um, it looks like the garage is going to have to turn 90 degrees because it's the only driveway. I don't know if that matters. I don't think. Inquire with me. I mean, the doors are facing the side. Garage might have to change directions. Looks like there's plenty of space, but yeah. let's figure it out. Yeah. I was thinking of shutting off the shaded area driveway there and keeping the other two open and the garage would face that way so you'd come in that way down towards the garage. Can you repeat that? What do you mean two open? There's three. Why don't, why don't you step up to the podium oh, sure. and introduce yourself? Name, address. Hello, people of the board. My name is Simon Schert. I currently reside at 5 Austin Circle in Florence. I hope to, in the near future, move to the downtown adjacent business district in Northampton. And uh, this project is uh, kind of a passion project. I purchased a lot uh, a couple of years ago from Marlene Morin. Uh, I run the martial arts school and leads to All Out Adventures. And uh, they, I've gone over this project with them and they're on board to, to stay and we've worked that all out. 
So there shouldn't be any issue with that. But my plan is uh, to, uh, there's three accesses to the back area. The top right corner comes uh, towards the back lot from Pleasant Street. And then there's the two driveways on the side. Oh, yes. can you go to the uh, see if I can post plan. Right corner, it's almost like an alley. Yeah, the problem with that, that that's off your property line. Well, the property line is exactly in the middle, I guess, of the, the driveway between 297 Pleasant and 10 Michaelman. <laughs> so that's that driveway couldn't be closed off because it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's shared by both lots. So I was thinking of uh, closing off the, the bottom one uh, and using the top one. And of course, uh, have an easement with myself for the, uh, the top building. And the top building also has the alleyway, a driveway to the right, to have access from there. So both buildings would continue to have access and uh, I'd be happy to curve off that bottom driveway. Is, is there an actual easement? No, it's uh, it's all, it's all I believe, implied because it's on one deed. Well, I mean, it's all possible. Yeah. It just has to be made formal. I mean, imagine that you turn around and sell it to somebody else. In right. Few months. So right now I'd have to split that. It's all on one deed, yeah, so I'd have to split it. Out. But mm -hmm. yep. That would involve a whole new mess of legal hullabaloo. Well, it's all. But yeah. Uh, right now, since they're on the same deed, I don't think, I think there's an implied easement, but if they were ever split, then they would. Well, they would the deed have... is separate from the zoning lot. Right. Okay. Issues. But I'm happy to do whatever is necessary to formalize that as your suggestion. It's simply your decision. You can do it either way. One takes more paperwork, but might be better for you. And. This it's definitely going to be simpler paperwork wise to put the curb down on the set. I think this is south, right? Mm -hmm. The where it says existing gravel south in this cool. shaded area because it's on the property that that because there's a requirement for a, a, a residents to have the driveway and the parking and everything. Right. And it's on a different property. It's uh, it's allowed, but you have to again. It's probably coming back here with a service submission. I would imagine. Sure. So you would recommend rotating the. Well, the garage. If you're going to keep the driveway on the south and close off the one to the north, then the the garage doors are not in the right place. So that, 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 the only reason I was bringing it up. A fair suggestion, and <laughs> I will definitely take it into consideration. Your other option would be to 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 do as you propose with the driveway up top, but then you would need to we would need to see some easement before um, prior to construction. That's fair, and would be done. So, but does he need to? Does he need to do that easement before we give the okay? Because we're close, we're going to be telling him to get rid of some of these curb cuts. No, I, I I would think that we've done something similar to this before that we um, simply say that the easement has to be filed prior to any construction, beginning of any construction or construction permit. Yeah, it's just like a condition. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And do we have uh, whatever size this curb cut is going to be? DPW says a maximum of 15 feet for the driveway. Do we have 15 feet on the north side of the structure? No, it has to. At that's the where the easement line? has to be. Okay. There has to be an easement because it's going to go over the line. At the well, at the, the frontage the, though. Yeah, the curb cut can only be 15 feet. That's what that's what DPW said. I mean, does the curb cut have to be entirely on its frontage, or his curb cut can be on the frontage of the other property? Okay. Sarah? I, the board has a condition that requires that even to be in place prior to construction. Uh, that, that would meet the DPW requirements. You can have an interior lot that has, well, no, that has a frontage. Yeah. Um, I guess, uh, well, one quote since the, the garage is something that's an accessory building that will be done beforehand, would it? Let's see, it's a two thing. Uh, should we decide about the rotating the garage and or how yes. you're getting into the site first before we can do right. the yeah. garage by right? Yep. Because that's, as I, as I understand from the uh, uh, previous, which I have at the bottom of this, but that's, uh, <laughs> uh, we're allowed by right to build this building as long as it's within the CBG setbacks. Yeah, yeah. And I guess you can go forward with that project. Our, uh, our really, our conditions here are related to the driveway yeah. once, or that once yeah. we build the house, how yeah. are we getting there? Right. Gotcha. Right. 
I'm inclined to file for the easement and just grant that to myself. Yeah. Okay. And I'm sure it is legal fees and stuff, but it, it, it clarifies things for the board and that we, we don't want to have a driveway with two property lines on it. Mm -hmm. So that's fair. You can kind of do it either way. Like um, you could also just do an ANR and move the property line over. Like, like just move that north property line closer to the commercial building. I think there's a six foot setback. I don't know if it's a rear or a side. Of the whole thing. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yep. Department about, but <laughs> right. I think that could be read as I think a you have a zero side setback in this zone. So mm -hmm. if it's a side, then you can move it right up. It's it's for it, this, yeah. Maximize the space on the residential lot. So you could it sell. Is, you could grant your sell yourself. Right. I'm going to gouge myself. That's a good alternative. <laughs> yep. Easement for the Pleasant Street access on the far side. Of I, I've never seen anything listed for that or on any of the drawing I've, I've seen. Um, I, that would come if you, but it looks like they have repaved the commercial building at some point. I don't know. I think it exists between another owner also, so I don't think you could do an easement. Like the driveway is split on either side of that. No, I don't think North Northampton Bicycle is next door. Mm -hmm. I don't think they use that driveway, right? Um, I think it's primarily for yeah. it's fenced off between the two. Right. It's a question. Um, the wall. The uh, by what they're saying, we're accepting that that's another egress and that's another access to the property. Well, yeah, after Correct. using that to go through. Yeah. Technically, yeah, it's the same. I mean, it's still the right. same owner, but it's still you're going through another property to access this right. property. So to me, that reads as two. That seems like a de facto thing that it's not an official anything. It's not an official anything. It's just like you can drive over someone's lawn to get to your property if you want to. And there just happens to, them to be a curb cut there. there. <laughs> there's not frontage there, okay. so there's no curb cut. Yeah, the issue with the front of the building is the extended. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Okie doke. So the the applicant may proceed with the uh, um, the small garage and the workshop for sure. Um, in terms of the other one, we can we can grant the application as one option with the condition that um, he returns to the planning office with evidence of a easement or with a request for an A and R. Or a revised plan that doesn't require either one of those. Right. Mm -hmm. That's because the garage is by right. There's no need right. for any nope. side plan review for the garage. Okay. So then do we keep the hearing open until that is resolved or do we let them move forward? Okay. All right. Other questions for the applicant? So the condition is around the, the, uh, the, the, the curb cut, closing off one curb cut. To be cited by the applicant, mm -hmm. depending upon how much he wants to do the easement or the NR. Um, uh, working with the planning office to resolve the issue of that divided lot line, either through an ANR or an easement. Prior to issuance of the construction permit. Prior to, thank you. And then uh, delivery to the DPW and the planning office, a very simple. Um, plan for construction around drainage and what's the language there? Uh, erosion and sediment control. Erosion and sediment. Thank you. Um, there's nothing else, I don't think. Sidewalk. Did you say that? The sidewalk, yep. Yeah. So there are four conditions. All right. All right. So I guess now we can have a motion to close the public hearing if there's no other comments. I move to close the public hearing. Second. Nobody in the chat room, Sarah, raising their hand. Okay. Motion's yeah. been made, seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, close the public hearing. Great. Any last comments? Thanks. I, 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 well, no. Okay. <laughs> I move to accept the uh, the development on Michaelman Ave with the aforementioned four conditions. I second. All right. Motion to made and seconded to accept the application. Any discussion? All those in favor? 
All right. Good luck with your project. Thank you. <laughs> After it's done, you guys are all invited over for a uh, Oh, no. Oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> the meeting's closed. <laughs> After it's done. <laughs> what? All right. Got energy for one more. Let's move at 7.30 p.m. to a special permit site plan to install ground-mounted solar array and infra, which is, I guess, infrastructure by Valley Solar LLC at 1036 West Hampton Road, Florence Map ID 42066. And again, this is, uh, we need a super majority vote because it's a special permit. Um, is there a presentation by the applicant? There is, yes. Good evening, my name is Martin Jutris. I'm here on behalf of Valley Solar. Uh, to present the project at 1036 West Hampton Road um, on behalf of the homeowner, Matthew D'Souza. So I'm going to pull up an initial. So the project uh, in question today is a 14.4 kW uh, C solar system here, which is just 2.4 kW over the 12 kilowatt threshold here. Um, it's a system that's sized to meet the homeowner's needs. They're a growing family who's transitioning to an all electric household. That's including heating and cooling and cooking, uh, electric vehicles and power tools and such. Um, their overall goal here is to, to, to get off fossil fuels. So this is just one of the, the components in the design here. Oh, you can't see my screen. So that's, we're off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me share this. Zoom is open in the browser you said earlier. Someone say that. Okay. The footprint of the array here is 36 feet wide wow, that's very simple. by uh, 18 inches deep. The high point of the back of the array will be uh, roughly nine and a half feet off the back of the array there. The front lip will be three feet. Uh, all setbacks have been met with this design. It was located in this portion of the homeowner's field uh, for the irradiance there. It's going to get the most production. Um, it's, it's oriented away from the road, so there's no glare concerns there. It is, uh, naturally protected by some buffered, some sumac and pine trees. Uh, so it won't be quite visible from the road. Um, it's going to be located right here, uh, beyond these bushes, um, and facing away from the road. There'll be no tree clearing or vegetation clearing for this. So it should be a pretty straightforward project for us. Um, and beyond that, this is the proximity to the home here in the road. That's really all I have. I'm open to answer questions here. So this is only before us because it's above the 12 kilowatt threshold. It's, it's five panels above your threshold, yep. Yeah. So not a huge system. I'm sure you're, you're used to seeing much larger systems that, that are above this threshold. But as homes get you know more and more electrified and people have two EVs, you'll probably start to see more larger solar projects. No controversy about cutting down historic large trees. Wonderful. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Is there a battery associated with this array? There is a battery associated with this array. Mm -hmm. Great. I like it. <laughs> Not as interesting as the last one, but you know. <laughs> um, I move to close the public comment. 
Well, we didn't know it yet, but see, um, okay. is there anyone okay. in the audience who would like to speak for or against the application? Is there anybody out in, the, in our Zoom room or any notion of chat here, Sarah? Yeah, no. Nobody here. Okay. Go ahead, Sam. Move to close the public comment. <laughs> okay. All right. Any discussion? So you know what we can't ask you any more questions about solar panels. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Unanimous. I move to support this project on well, West Hampton. West Hampton Road to Solar Array. Any solar at ten thirty six West Hampton Road? Any conditions? Were were there any suggested conditions? You know, the only thing we've talked about in the past, but they're doing much larger solar arrays was around. Um, Battery disposals. Yep. Yeah. What happens if they're just left there? I, I, I don't know. There's other discussions about. We yeah. haven't had a solar yeah. array in front of us in a while that hasn't been roof mounted. Well, there's something about safety sensors. I think that's for much bigger areas. Yeah. 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 Say what no, and I, I don't think it is. I second. Okay. All right. Any more discussion? Just in that discussion, we haven't had a solar array in a while. Okay. And why this is the resident. I mean, this isn't right. All right. Um, all those in favor? Thank you very much. Right, thank you. Take care. It's about like one thing. Why do you care if they're efficient? The sun's not, you know, sun's there. <laughs> All right. It's like, yeah, go nuts. Yeah. We're almost there. <laughs> Any other discussion? Okay. Let's go to the next Yes, it is. It's eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. We're late. Okay. Um, we're going to open up the uh, site plan to demolish a garage and subdivide a parcel <clears throat> and add new single family for shared driveway by Wendy and Kenneth Arnold at 86 Lyman Road, map ID 39A-052. And this is the site plan review, so this uh, asks for a simple majority of the uh, board members. How, how, many, how many do we need? How many people do we need? Driveway. How many people do we need? Four. Four? So I uh, do work with uh, Ken Arnold. I believe I can be impartial, but I do do work yeah, for him. And he lead into it. No, I mean I wish I was, but yeah. oh, well, now you're, you're not impartial. <laughs> uh, but you know, um, you wish you related to him. Then the <laughs> I should probably work his. So you, you probably should. Yeah. You're a, a yeah. Contractor. Yeah. Money. Yeah. We just need four votes in here. Okay. Ken Arnold also very recently did the inspection on my home. I do not feel that that affects my judgment in this instance, but if other people do, I will recuse myself. No. Okay. That's okay. You don't have a financial, and I'm going to financial. All right. Does the applicant have a subject, please? We do. Thank you. Yes. Jeff Squire here from the Berkshire Design Group here on behalf of uh, Wendy and Ken Arnold. Arnold. Um, Property we're looking at is at 86 uh, Lyman Street. So it's the property highlighted in yellow there. Um, it's at the very end of Lyman Street. It's a 0.9 acre parcel. Uh, there is currently a um, a, a large uh, six apartment, six unit uh, building on the site now, which you can see in the upper left-hand corner. I'm trying to find my cursor here, sorry. Um, so this structure here, um, there's a detached garage. Um, most of the site is relatively flat um, up at the top portion of it, and then it drops off pretty steeply um, off to the east and south side um, uh, against in, as you get into the floodplain. Um, just a couple of images of the existing site. So this the across the top, uh, looking down Lyman Street, you can see the building, the structure that exists there now, uh, the white or tan structure. Um, uh, upper right hand corner is just looking to the back portion of the parcel where the garage stands, um, the sort of la large flat cleared portion of the site. 
um, the lower left hand and, and center pictures are sort of looking back at the house just from the edge of that um, hillside. And then um, the lower right hand is just a Google Street View showing how Lyman Street drops off um, to the right down into the um, Special Conservancy District, um, but the house, um, the existing structure is visible there on the left. The proposal is to subdivide the parcel into three frontage lots. Um, there's certainly adequate frontage there. Um, there's three frontage lots. I think one is at 85 feet. Uh, there's 75 feet of frontage required. There's one at 85 feet, and the other two uh, are both over 100. They range in size from about a quarter acre to a third acre, a third of an acre. Um, all of the construction really takes place in the existing, you know, cleared area where the garage exists now, and then at the edge of the um, sort of upper, you know, terrace. Um, the driveway would continue in its current location, and again, just from we're here because to access those additional two lots um, really makes sense to access it up that one existing driveway than trying to climb that steep hill. So um, they're all shown as small single family homes um, under 2000 square feet. Um, we've relocated the parking or cleaned up the parking a little bit for the uh, apartment building. Um, some landscape plantings, um, utilities um, to both structures. Um, but generally just, yeah, maintain sort of the character and, and, you know, appearance of the neighborhood with, with, um, you know, single family homes. Um, and I am aware that there were DPWK comments that came in at the end of the day. Um, most of those seem pretty technical in nature. Um, their stormwater detail or, uh, uh, water connection details, um, a couple of other questions, but, um, nothing that we haven't you know, seen in some of the projects similar to this that we just deal with at um, the time of building permit. Great. Would you mind, again, reading those for us, Sarah? Uh, as Jeff noted, they were all technical comments and um, notes about details. Uh, so, final construction plans, W, um, plan sets will show all existing and abandoned underground utilities. Sizing material which pipeline should be labeled, manifest should be labeled during your sewer localization. Um, sewers on a private property should be less than six inch diameter and it should have one to five inch slope. Um, requirements for slope provided and design with inverts and details there. Uh, note that the sewer service needs to be separated from the water by 10 feet. Uh, note on water that the line can be more than five feet deep and more than Two feet from any surface structures to prevent them from freezing. Water service connections that need to have a minimum five feet separation. Details for the dry wells and the stone strip need to be added to the plan. And um, again, the comment about the simple erosion side of the facility. The technical. You like them? Fine. Uh, questions for the board? Uh, it's noted on the uh, plans, the far right, I think that's the southerly lot, mm -hmm. three, um, that there's a 28-inch caliper tree to be protected. Yes. I don't see that on the lot at all. <clears throat> I It's a big open lot there. Right, unless where does the drop off happen? Right at the dotted line. Right where the tree is. Right where the tree is at the front. Um, that's pretty much a dead tree. Is it an old beach? Yeah, it's a dead tree. There's two of them there. I think there's one dead and one that's alive. But I'll look. I could look at those. Yeah, yeah. Okay, doke. So this the last house is going to be built pretty much right at the drop off. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely up into that. Yep, yeah, that upper right, terrace. Right. The uh, usually when we look at these shared driveways, um, one thing we look at is the little bump outs for, you know, so that you can drive, people can get by each other. Mm -hmm. um, this is such a short radius; it doesn't really make as much sense. But I see that. One of the bump outs is designated for visitor parking. Um, I don't think we want to see that on the plan. I, I, I think that wants to be remain open. If, if people, 
silly of me to say, but if people park there, that's going to happen. But don't designate the turn out the turn off area as visitor parking. That's kind of a, a slip for people to uh, move over when the other cars are coming in. Sure. You don't want this something puzzling. I'm just trying to make sure I understand what you're saying. You're saying you don't want them to show it as visitor parking. Yeah. Okay. Right. But they're not going to paint on the asphalt visitor parking or something when it's built. It's right. just going to be a wider area. It's just going to be a wider area. Back there, yeah. Um, and there's a comment here, which I think is a good one. Driveway maintenance agreement between the three residential lots shall be recorded and in compliance with the zoning standards prior to issuance of building permit for the first new house lot. Sure. Seems good. That's a good condition. Yep. Right. The new houses, I assume, are going to be all electric. Probably so uh, equipped probably for solar too, given the wide open sky there. Okay, just just promoting that as the city is, yeah. especially the all electric. I don't know if there's gas, if there's um a gas line there now going to the apartment building, but there is a gas line and they say there's plenty of gas, but I don't know if they'll give it to us with the moratorium, how that would work. Yep. So when is the super duper area. super stretch code? January first. So, <laughs> yeah, you might not have much choice in the matter. Yeah. Um, is that Northampton or Amherst? Who's doing that? Northampton. No lighting proposed for the longer driveway at this point. No posts. No podiums. No. It should all be external or uh, lighting on the yeah on the lighting on the house, house and yep. headlights on the cars. Okay. Uh, there's no abutters really here that it's going to uh, annoy headlights coming in. Uh, uh, the parking areas have been designated. One of the houses has a garage in the back. The other one doesn't at this point. Correct. Um, well, totally do that. For... I... Any other questions from the board? No. Interesting site. Inter yeah, mm -hmm. it's an interesting site. Yep. There was one abutter who wrote a letter in concerned about the increase in traffic. That's not the way I read the letter, no. actually. Okay, please. Well, I read it as being in support of the project and just using it as an opportunity to address other traffic issues in the neighborhood, but not that this project was going to make them worse. And there was a second letter in support of the project. Thanks for that clarification. That's why there's seven of us. <laughs> All right. Good. So we understand that uh, streets in Northampton have a lot of, could all use some traffic calming. And and it's funny that we say that most of the, the speeding and the traffic issues are by people who live within a half mile of that, those incidents, but. Okay, but we're we're uh, there's a waiver for the trap uh, requested for a traffic study on this because of the minimal impact. So I don't think we we just no mention that in our note that. Uh, huh? How do we? We just mention that in our motion, um, but we don't make that a condition that we're accepting a waiver or anything. It's just the motion is made with the waiver to exclude the traffic report. All right. Um, yeah, and if you would just check that one tree and make sure that if it is a living tree there and it's close, that it is protected as it's noted on the plans. Do we have any public comment or Zoom chatter? We do not. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak to this plan either for or against? Hearing none, is there a motion? I move to close the public comment. Seconded by Stacy. Great. Any discussion? All those in favor? Great. Any more discussion about the project? We were just chattering that Lyman Road is a demapped road after this property and goes all the way down towards where the highway off ramp 
was built, mm -hmm. which is interesting, and connects in by the bowling alley to Pleasant Street. Oh yeah, it's, it's a great road. I take it all the time on my bicycle down yeah. there. Yeah, it's had a. <clears throat> I was more taken back by the fact that it's an accepted public street beyond. Is it that point? Yeah. yeah. No. It's often blocked off during the springs mm -hmm. and winter, but yeah. <laughs> You're going to have those new neighbors. The hotel will be right down the slope from there behind the Smith College grounds. Is that where, is that where yeah, where the Gazette was. They'll be walking up <laughs> to your yard for nature. All right, the motion. Has there been a motion made? No, I, I move to approve this project. I need to figure out where it is. 86 Lyman Road. Um with the condition about the shared driveway mm -hmm. discussed previously and noting the waiver and the traffic mitigation yep. requirements. Yep. And so, uh the other conditions that we're considering the DPW comments are um resolved with the applicant, the one about the uh, erosion and oh well that's one that we did on the last one. So exactly. we should also yep. do the yep. erosion sedimentation control plan. Pretty straightforward. Yes. Okay. I second. Motion's been made and seconded to accept the application at 86 Lyman. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Great. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you guys very much. All right. Thanks for adding homes to our inventory. That's awesome. Thank you guys very much. Damn, you didn't vote, did you? No, man. I would be good. All right. Okay. So that is one, two, Thank three, you. four, five in favor. Unanimous. Anything with this Berkshire. <laughs> Are you here for another application? Uh I thought so. At eight thirty? Yes. What time is it? Well, is it is it eight thirty? No, we have fifteen more minutes. No, oh. hang out. Hang this is out. so unusual, huh? Yeah, we usually don't get ahead of things. Bathrooms. It. This is the last. Thank one. you. For
everyone. Um, we had to delay a little bit until the time came for this uh, next application. It's a continuation of a hearing oh. from 824 for a special permit for a major site plan, 109 room hotel and 31 unit residential building by Rankin Holdings at 115 Con Street, map ID 39A-33. Um, at this time, yep. the planning board is gonna request that we continue the hearing because the DPW received the stormwater um, work by your firm, by the applicant last Friday, but they haven't had time to respond to it and to work with it. So we are requesting that we move this, we continue this hearing for two weeks until September 28th, until the DPW, which unfortunately is very short staffed now, can deal with it. That's fine. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, there were a couple of minor edits to the plan that, you know, widening some of the islands and EV chargers and some of that that we moved around. Um, you know, just, I guess, for the record, insofar as the DPW goes, um, you know, it's a little bit frustrating. This is sort of new territory for us. It's never taken three hearings to get through a project fairly this simple. Um, I've been in contact with them constantly for the last three months, and to be where we are now is a little bit frustrating. So just wanted to say that because it affects a lot of a lot of other things. There's a lot of snowball effects that this causes. So just yeah. wanted to mention that. Are there other plant? The ones I saw in the file were dated September 5th. Are there newer? No, those those are the ones, and that was that addressed all of their comments. I didn't comments. see the wider aisles or the charger moved on those plans. The September, well, September sixth or seventh was was a light was the latest set. There was one set, and there were a couple of things that didn't get caught, so it immediately got followed up with Maybe with those I, items. I didn't see that set. So. Yeah, was that I think it was the seventh. Okay, I think the one they started. Uh, yep. It may have been because there was, yeah, it, it got a little bit ahead of things. We were trying to stay ahead of the DPW comments. And so that September 5th set addressed all of the sort of engineering specific things. And we hadn't caught quite up to those changes with some of the other EV chargers and some of those things. So that's what that followed up. But we haven't heard anything from the DPW other than just the other comments that were posed about traffic studies and stuff that. Um, yeah, duly noted. Um we, we hate to be in a position to of stalling kind of construction, especially this time of year, but the DPW has yep. their limitations too, unfortunately, as you noted tonight with the other applications that we just got our much smaller projects that just came in. So, so I, I guess we'll, we'll keep open the public hearing um, and we'll ask for a motion to continue it until September 28th. Um, we get them first so they don't, and they've waited this whole time. Well, we already moved one, the uh, Baron and Jacobs one, to I think seven o'clock on September twenty eighth. So we probably need to talk about this one at like seven fifteen. Okay, fair enough. Second, um, should we say seven o five in case he doesn't show again? We don't have to sit around for fifteen minutes waiting for it. We can always start late, right? We just can't start early. We yeah, we can always start late if. If, if that's the board's favor to go with seven, no problem with that. Yep. Sure. If he sure. continues it, this is the, yep. the second time he's continued. So, yep. Um, yep. There's just a couple. So, a couple like of issues. Like DPW can, yeah. also mentioned a graphic study. Right. And the applicant mentioned a uh, section of the zoning ordinance that says that traffic mitigation isn't required in that zone. Right. Which I understand, which is for peak trips. I'm not 100% sure on that section of the of our zoning. It it still says it wants to study the level of service at intersections, which has nothing to do with, you know, additional trip traffic mitigation. So that's the part I'm not I'm not I don't I'm not quite sure if your response to the DPW addresses their comment. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm not sure what the end result would be. I mean, if there's no traffic mitigation required and the level of service is found to go down, well, we don't. What know, happens? But we don't know what the level of service is going to do because we right. haven't studied it. No, I mean that's right. I, th I think the way I read it, it says that it will not, you know, negatively affect the level of service. 
But how do we know that without studying it? I, I completely agree that traffic mitigation wise, we're not going to charge you any more money mm -hmm. or any more trips, but we don't know what the level of service is going to do. So that's what so, would we do what we'll be, right. That's what I. <clears throat> what would we do with it? Well, I think there would have to be offsite mitigation to correct the level of service. But I guess that is now what the zoning says is there's no mitigation required. I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm. I mean, I, anytime we've done a project in the downtown district, in the central business district, it's always been that you know we the desire is to get traffic to get people to come to downtown the point of not requiring a traffic study if we require a traffic study i don't understand i, I mean i see the deep that you asked for i just don't understand why they would i mean they're short staff maybe they just don't we've heard a few comments from dpw that like uh, people are reviewing things and they're not used to reviewing maybe it's just a mistake i don't know i don't understand why we would though yeah if it's not requiring it sounds like an issue to follow up with the planning office to make sure that we don't need to have more information come before us on that meeting of the 28th. Just to clarify that, I understand your concerns. There's two separate kind of items there around traffic, but um, so that we don't go into the next meeting with the same concerns. Mm -hmm. So if you could just clarify that with Carolyn and then maybe Carolyn to the DPW uh, the right that can be so we know about cons like just generally we have a sense of whether the level of surface on cons is as universal mm -hmm. or is this project specifically i don't you know i don't claim to understand what our zoning is what the okay. intent of our zoning is. i just try to enforce it All right um and then my only other concern with this project is the phasing of it mm -hmm. right so our zoning would like to have the building built up front and the phasing of this project is we're going to build the building in the back first and then without any stipulation yeah any timetable based on first. funding or Did something we, I, thought, I thought we talked about this last time didn't they well, work out wasn't that something we had to they were let's talk about a contingency plan i'm yeah. not sure what that yeah Carolyn proposed a few different alternatives to that, and I think it would be helpful to, I don't remember what the different options were that she presented, mm -hmm. um, but it would we should resolve that at the next. Or maybe you guys want to resolve it before. Yeah. before. yeah. So you come forward and tell us exactly what contingency plan you prefer so we can just condition it accordingly. Yeah, that's fine. I, I haven't heard anything from Carolyn, but I'll touch base with her certainly and see if she has some suggestions. Yeah, she went at okay. the last hearing, she suggested three or four different routes to do that. I just don't sure. remember what they were, but. Okay. You know, I think one was not allowing parking in the front. So right now, so, basically the whole front is all paved area that used to be the Gazette Buildings parking lot. Yeah. So maybe we condition that they, you know, make that a grip all area. that pavement out and make make that a green area or until such time as the front building is built. Well, that's what ended up in... just, just give us put some money so, as, or some sort of account. Right. Yeah, I'm guys, I'm a little nervous that we're discussing this when we're really continuing the hearing, okay. even though okay. we, can, we haven't continued the hearing yet. Yeah, but this is a this is a open we're in the hearing right now. Yeah, but, yeah, we are. But if we go down too many roads on this without, uh, I, I, sorry, I, I'm I confusing too. I just think we need to kind of open and close, the, open and cl make the motion to move this forward. I don't think we want to. We're not continuing. The, we are in in effect. We're not continuing the hearing because we're discussing it now. We're just going to continue it when we're done discussing. I just want I want you guys. To yeah, and I. I appreciate that. Yeah, because I would concerns that are going to come up at the yeah. next hearing. Also, I would like to be prepared okay. for the next meeting so that we can okay. be done. Yeah. yeah. From the applicant um, to be able to close this and issue the permit. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to blindside you with this at the next yeah, hearing. I, 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 yep. Time to prepare for this. Yep. Yeah, I definitely I mean, appreciate that. Like the money, the money thing would you would think would be the easiest. It just I don't know what the right amount is that makes makes someone have to move forward. Or yeah, Carolyn. Painful loss. 
Carolyn mentioned something about a bond or something yeah. like that. I was a little bit confused about what went in the staff memo about the parking issue because I that seems to me like that should be the case regard the staging is separate from that. Like there shouldn't be parking up at the street at any point. And but that also the point is to try to guarantee that that front building gets built and just saying they can't park there doesn't resolve that issue. So and it's not enforceable. Like no no cop is gonna is gonna you know. Go oh can't can't park here yeah you know, like I mean it's just not an enforceable thing yeah and not having parking there does not compel you know, to build I mean if there's a right. ten year recession we're not going to build the building it's just that's life yeah yeah so it was a bond and or escrow I mean there were yeah a few a word I don't even know what the difference is, but... yeah so Carolyn had sure. multiple ideas so I would just talk to her about what those were that's yeah. her expertise <clears throat> sure. There was also a request to have a stamp lighting as built plan. Sure. So that's, yep, right. that's fine. So in compliance with the lighting that maybe didn't come in through with the first paperwork. Sure. That's, those are just kind of the concerns Great. I wanted to touch on. Mm -hmm. okay. the latest application. Right. And the full I only saw 9.5 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. there's a 9.5 in there, but right. there's a later one. I don't know, Sarah, if we could just make sure that it's it's sometimes very tricky to see what the latest file mm. is. Yeah. I think the only revisions were we had widened all the aisles to be the parking aisles to be eight, six feet and moved around the EV chargers so that we had we've got 24 at the hotel that are being installed initially and then another six or eight up at the residential building. All right. Well, I, I would move to continue this hearing to. 705 on September 20th. <laughs> 705. Yeah. <laughs> there a second? I second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any more discussion? All right. Thanks, folks, for your patience. You all. Sorry about this, but yeah. all yeah. in favor? Yes. <clears throat> all right. I move to close the meeting. I second. There's no meeting. Though. We already did all that. Is there, is there anything else, Sarah? Me. Okay, good. All right, motions were made to adjourn at 8.40, earlier than I thought. Jana seconded also. Okay, all those in favor? 